There were nine wooden forts, and not one of them has been positively identified archaeologically. Uh, uh, Dr. Diga, you, you've been here so, so many years. Um, how much do you think you have left to be, to excavate here in, in the Fountain of you? Well, what we're really trying to do here at the Fountain of Youth is understand as much as we can about that first settlement really before 2015 when St. Augustine will observe its 450th birthday. And so I think that'll be an important thing for public appreciation to know where the first settlement was, what it was like to be there. Uh, and no archaeologist ever wants to dig a site absolutely completely. Uh, it, it's the site itself, the dirt, the artifacts are actually a, a, a treasure, a resource. And if we can learn what we need to know uh, without having to dig everything, that's what we're really trying to do. I would say right now, after uh, almost 40 years yes. of work here, <laughs> we've probably uncovered maybe 10 percent. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> maybe 15 percent. Wow, it's a there's a lot of treasure still on beneath us. Oh, there is a, yes. the majority so, okay. of the site is still intact, waiting to be looked at. Yeah, Jamestown have a beautiful uh, century. Mm -hmm. Do you think would they have uh, uh, any? You have any idea in the future they're going to do something like that here? Well, that's uh, uh, any reproductions or replicas of the settlement uh, will be up to the Fountain of Youth Park management. Uh, we have been providing information about what it looked like, and in fact, the Florida Museum of Natural History at the University of Florida. Uh, is preparing a video replica of the settlement and that'll be part of our exhibit that opens in October at Government House in St. Augustine and October of this year? Yes, oh. October of yes. 2013. Yes. And so in that you'll be able to see what we believe to the best of our knowledge, no one really knows, but yes. to the best of our knowledge what the buildings look like and how they were arranged and there'll be some video activity games people can fly into the settlement and so one on. One last question, Dr. any archaeological digging book about Christopher Colombo. What about a book about Menendez? Do you have any you know any planning, you know, to do something like that? Well we certainly do plan to publish our results in a more popular form. They have all been published in archaeological places, and they're very technical. The technical reports are available on the Florida Museum of Natural History website and available to anyone, but they're not uh, really uh, interesting. They're, what about you? You don't have me, no plan to do oh something yes, like that? By, we still are, we're, we're definitely would like to work on, or I would like to do a book that combines the things from the Menendez site, that information, with the uh, adjacent site of the Nombre de Dios mission, which also had some 16th century activity, and write it about that, what it was like to be in the first colony here in St. Augustine.